Hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and in this video, we're going to continue on with the Math Tutor series. So, first off, what we're going to do is make it so that whenever we press an addition, subtractions, or any of those buttons, it will actually show a math question. So, yeah, let's just get to it. So, what we're going to do first is go to the change screen method, and we're going to change a couple things. For example, um, let's go to the else. And we're gonna have a little if statement. If next screen equals uh, mix, oops, lowercase that mix, then we're gonna do something. Self that is mix equals false. And you know what? I just remember we did not initialize this, so let's go initialize it in the constructor. So let's go up in the init, self that, and let's just put it to um, uh, false. Sure, why not? False. Okay, um, now let's go back to where we were. All right, so if we do that, then it's going to be set to, um, oh no, if it is, then it's going to be set to true. What am I thinking? Because they press the mix button, so it's going to be true. Alrighty, so if since they press the mix button, we're going to have to get a random selection of uh, arithmetic operation to do. So how we do that is just import random dot uh, rand int and of course there's no auto completion because I have not imported that so let's go import random import random there we go and then let's go back so rand int uh -huh, there you go completion it's going to be 0 to the length of operations minus 1 and there you go let's see and then we're going to set the next screen equal to that so operations index so a quick summary the user said they want to mix questions so we get a random selection from the index and then we say okay that's the question you're gonna get displayed so yeah pretty simple all right now we're gonna do the else statement so if they didn't want to mix questions so then is mix is gonna be what false exactly and that's pretty much it for that statement and then for that we're gonna do four uh, operation in operations that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do if next screen equals operation then question equals self dot math screen no yeah self dot math screen dot get Doo -doo. question hopefully I spell that right if not well then uh, oh well and then we're going to format it and we're going to pass in the operation. All right, so let me say what I'm doing right here. So we're looping through all the operations that are possible, addition, subtraction, and all that. And since we already set what the next screen is going to be, we're just looking for the operation. So is the next screen a math, subtraction, or any of that? Well, oh, if we find it, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to call uh, whatever method from the math screen from the math screen. So for example, if they pass in um, arithmetic, this little bracket is going to be replaced with arithmetic. No, I mean arithmetic, what the heck? With uh, addition. If they pass addition or subtraction or division or any of that. So that's why we're formatting the question. Alrighty. And you'll see how that becomes useful because I'm too lazy to do a bunch of if statements and this is easier. At least for me. Whatever. I'm making the video. My rules. All right, so then, now that we have that, we're going to format the text. So we're going to do kiwi-tutor-root-prep question, which is a method that we're going to create right now. And before we to do finish this, okay, whatever, finish on whatever the heck. So let's go and create that. It's going to be a... Uh, static method you see so we're calling the class name and then the question so it's gonna be a static method so how we do static methods just this that on simple as that man freaking easy and then prep question and then it's gonna pass in the question big surprise right now we gotta do some checking if question equals none then return error pretty simple huh now, if it doesn't, then we have to format the question with markup and all of that good stuff. So let's go and do it. 
So text list equals question dot split. There you go. And then text list not equals insert um, into the second space. So just believe in me and just type what I'm doing because uh, this is just inserting the ma markup in the in the list. And then we're gonna join it back together to create a single string. Insert and then that's gonna be from the length of text list to and then we're gonna import the put the closing markup so there you go and then we return it that join that text list bam there you go simple as that and why is this complaining if condition if question is none there you go there you go okay so all of this looks good so it just prep it's the question let me put a little bit of uh prepares a math question with oh, come on oh it imported that and that's not what I want mark up so yeah prepares question with markup sweet once we do that we can go back to the to do erase that and then do eval question if question is not none else none see so this is what's happening it's evaluating the question and what this cool little function does is if you have a string like uh, let's say um, uh, you pass an eval 9 8 plus 8 it's actually gonna parse the string and do what's inside so right there's gonna give me a pr uh, 16 but if I call like another let's say I have a method called uh, eat like that is actually gonna go and go and call that method so that's why I did this because I'm too lazy to do a bunch of if statements anyways uh, let's see let's do that okay so now that we have that so then we change the screen all right cool yeah I think that's it I think we have enough oops come on what am I doing e shell all right so let's clear that and let's actually call it let's see if I if I didn't screw up so if I do this it should be addition oh what's up what's up 10 yep there you go if I call it again it should be a completely random yep you see bam subtraction 8 minus 8 10 minus 7 7 times 3 what the heck multiplication oh, okay I was like what what happened okay and if I do mix every time it's gonna be you see subtraction addition division addition addition division yeah okay I'm getting bored okay yeah anyways you guys get the point so yeah sweet uh, that killed eight minutes of your life okay thank you